if you're looking to create your own white base for direct to garment printing this is how I would do it so I have my artwork open here's my layers in Photoshop if I turn the background off you can see that we have our artwork on a transparent layer and that means I can change my background from black to white or whatever it is I might need this is one of our stock designs on Great Dane Graphics. So what I'm going to do here is the first step is I'm going to duplicate my file. So if I go to Image and come down to Duplicate, inside this Duplicate Image menu here, I'm just going to put NW. Now that's just personal code talk for new white, right? I'm only going to use this as a temporary file. So right now if I go to my channels, and if you notice my new white document is the one that's active here, I have an RGB file. So I'm going to come to my image menu and I'm going to change my mode to lab color. And when I do that I'm not going to merge it. It wants me to merge because I have two different layers. So now my channels have changed. So I have a lightness channel, an A and a B channel. Well the A and the B channel is where my color data lies, but all my detail is on this lightness channel. That's the luminosity of our file. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my tab of this document and I'm going to pull it out into its own window. And I want to grab my lightness channel again, select it, and drag it into my original artwork. And as soon as I do that, you see the white outline box that was, tells me if I let this thing go, I'm going to add it an alpha channel to my original artwork, which is what I want to do. Now, if you've never fooled with alpha channels in Photoshop, your channels are going to become or going to be masked areas. So, if you double click this little preview icon here of uh, the image, this says alpha one. Mine says selected areas. Yours will probably say masked areas if you've never done this before. So, if you want to see what I'm seeing, you want to click on to selected areas and hit OK. So, here's my NW file. I'm finished with that. I'm going to X out, and not save it because all I need is this one thing here. So I, I have it selected, right? So I'm going to hit Command-I on my Mac or Control-I on your PC to invert this uh, channel. Now the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up my curves. So if I go to the Image menu, come down to Adjustments and go to Curves, I'll get this dialog box. Now yours may look like this with larger grids, right? I like the smaller grids because I use those uh, smaller lines as starting points or stopping points I guess I should say uh, benchmarks so what I'm gonna do the way this line works this part here will control my shadows this point here will control my highlights so if I click on this this bottom point my shadow point I'm gonna move it over say 20 percent or two clicks right I'm gonna go to my highlight side click on that and move it half away maybe about five percent or so in this first box so what we did was we just pulled in or choked in our underbase now I'm gonna grab this line here and I'm gonna pull my midtones like that so right now I'm gonna hit OK to this and this is the underbase that I would use for my digital printing now if you wanna see what that underbase is gonna look like I know a lot of DTG rips will give you just a solid underbase but what I'll do here is I'll create a new um, channel right and I'm gonna put it above the one that we just created so now I'm gonna double click this now you want to make sure your color is set to black since I'm going to show it on a black background so you can preview it right selected areas I hit OK so now I'm going to fill it with my foreground color so if I go to edit fill make sure uh, my content says foreground color I hit OK it fills it with black so now when I turn on my next alpha channel here um, if I double click that preview icon see it's black set to black well I don't want to that to be the case obviously we're looking at an underbase so if I click on my uh, color box here and make it white I'll hit OK to that and yours might be defaulted at 50 I would actually show this at 85 or so because I think it's a more accurate preview so um, make sure you make it white go to 85 click OK and that's what your underbase is going to print like so anytime you have a good looking underbase like this where you can see some details and some ha uh, highlights and shadows you can have you typically will have a great print um, where you see black that would be no white that means it's going to be just the black of the shirt showing through or the black ink from the rip uh, that you use so I would take that file and run with it that's how I would generate a underbase with DTG printing